Everyone has an origin story. For Spider-Man, it's when he got bit by a spider. For Lost LeBlanc, it all started with this right here, a backpack and some $1 street food. Nice. And today is all about my origin story. We're going backpacking. It's gonna be trouble. Inside this backpack, I'm going to be fitting six t-shirts, two bathing suits, five or six boxers, one pair of sweats, and two shorts. My guiding principle is you need to be able to fit one week's worth of clothing if you were to go with no laundromat and to be in Southeast Asian heat sweating through your clothing every day. And as you can see, that'll fit in here super easily. I still have a ton of room. I shouldn't say that out loud. Now most people think of backpacking as a way of travel for broke people. And to be honest, back in the day, I was one of those broke people. I had no money and this was the best way to see the world. But while doing that, I also discovered something about backpacking that few people talk about. And that is the way it changes the way you experience the world. Sometimes for the worse, but a lot of the time for the better. By the end of this trip, you'll see for yourself that that right there is not only for broke travelers. In reality, it's for adventurers, people that are open to all of travel, not just the luxury, but actually diving deep into the culture, into the real experiences, and meeting hundreds of people from across the world. I could not be more excited. And Ruby has never backpacked. I'm really bad at packing, and this is literally like the most anxiety filled thing that you could ever do to me because I can't decide what I want to wear. This is literally the uh, party anthem for Thailand. If you know, you know. And uh, actually, this was supposed to be my merch. I got this logo designed, paid like 200 bucks to have it done, and then never ended up going through with it. But we have one. Bye, buddy. Oh, he's so sad. No wagging tail. Just give me a little wag. Okay. So, before I leave, I need to get something taken a look at. I just spent the last three weeks working every day from my desk, and honestly, I was building a product, which I'll be sharing with you guys later. I did finish it, but at what cost? I have just lost mobility in my shoulder. Uh, something I've never felt before, but right now I'm about to leave and backpack. I'm glad I'm here. I've never been cracked like that in my life. And I don't want to have it happen again, but I need it. All right, we literally, literally, I'm not joking when this is one of the closest planes we'll ever have. All right, all right, let's go. If we're not at the airport in the next hour, they're not gonna let us on the plane. And it's one hour to get there, according to traffic. Thank you so much. Big rush. I'm truly off to a backpacking trip right now. This is how they always were. Stressful and running and sweaty. I'll celebrate when I'm on the plane. We're so close. Yo. Last call. Oh my god. It's so fast. <laughs> Literally. We ran. We made it. Welcome back to Thailand. With a backpack. So excited to be here. Toasties, 7-Eleven bell. Hello. Cheap pad thai and my favorite street food spots. I was about to exchange Indonesian rupiah here. I was about to give her about $200 worth and they were about to give me 100 US dollars worth of Thai baht, which is literally like a 50% loss on the exchange. And if you look at the buying and selling spread for any of you nerds out there, look at that. I've never seen that spread before. That is robbery, dude. Oh my God. Okay, here's your example. If you were to give them one US dollar, you would get 14 baht. Imagine okay. now if you were to sell them one US dollar. Uh -huh. Oh wait, sorry, how do I explain this? We're gonna do it the old fashioned way, an ATM. And there I am, I'm rich. Woo. So this is 500 US dollars, it's 20,000 baht. I mean, the US dollar has been performing pretty good recently. So I'm pretty happy most of my holdings are in that. Sorry to all you British folks out there. I am not having any more of it. Okay. So this is a pro tip. Always say accept without currency conversion. That way your home bank does the foreign exchange fee, not the ATM, which will rip, rip you, you off. off. Don't mean to be an instructor right now in this moment, but Ryan just took out two of these bills, about 50 bucks. Ryan, I don't mean to put you on spot. 
Do you want to know how much you just paid in fees? I don't want to know. Ten dollars on a fifty dollar withdrawal. That's like twenty percent. Brutal. I learned. I wouldn't have learned if I didn't make this mistake. Yeah, you learn things when you carry that backpack around. So, a fun little challenge of this trip is my goal is to have an average of fifty dollars spent per day. There might be a couple little exceptional things we just ignore and, ever, and pretend never happened. So, I gotta be smart. This is four hundred Thai baht for twenty five gigabytes of data. It's like ten bucks. I just want to spend it on food. That's a good point. That's, that's all a, I want. That's actually a really good idea. Kam kunka. Kam kunka. Chan chu ruby. Okay, thank you. Kam kunka. One of the things I'm most excited about is that 7 Eleven. They're everywhere. And you walk in and they go. Most places that do that. It's like the anthem of backpacking in Thailand. And then you go get these cheesy toasties and they're paninis and then you. They're so delicious. Oh, this is the ham and cheese. This is the one. Luckily, 7 Eleven hasn't changed the prices on these bad boys. <laughs> you gotta get one. I just wanna say, Andrea, my hot chili pepper right here, is newly single. You guys were trying to find Andrea a date in Thailand. <gasps> Someone. <laughs> no, no, what's your Instagram? Andrea underscore you Murray. Oh my God, my mouth. <laughs> so good though. Mm, little seashell. Mm. I love Thai food. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I've come to Thailand once and I went to Bangkok for like four days. It was a terrible trip. And we've only been here for five minutes and we're having a 7 Eleven sandwich and it's already better than that experience. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the future. All right, taxi. Can we just go to uh, Kosan Road? Here we go. Now I feel like a real backpacker. Squishing it. If you guys want a fun statistic, Thailand has one of the highest uh, fatalities from road accidents per capita. Fun fact of the day. Oh, my seatbelt doesn't work. All right, booked to the hotel. I'm so excited to be back. One very distinct thing about Bangkok is that there's a lot of areas that go under these like overpasses and there's people that live under here. Uh, little settlement, settlements and homes are set up down here. But when I was coming from North America as like a brand new traveler, I thought I was being kidnapped. And that sounds incredibly, incredibly naive and silly to say. At the time, my driver didn't speak English. I didn't speak Thai. I couldn't communicate with him. And when I talked to him, he ignored me and he kept going under these underground passages and my map system showed I was going the wrong way. And I was like, I've been in Thailand for two minutes and this is how it ends. But uh, needless to say, I've learned a lot since then. I'm not the young boy anymore and the world is a very safe place. You need to go explore it. All right. Kaboom crap. <laughs> Just had my first panic attack. I was like, where did this go? <laughs> Would have been such a bad start, but uh, it was in my back pocket. That's like the difficulty of backpacking. It's constantly getting in and out of cars and you're like, oh my God, where's my stuff? My wallet, which by the way, is where's my wallet? Where's my wallet? <laughs> pocket, your phone pocket now. Oh, I put it in the top of your blue bag. You did? False alarm. Okay. What's the lesson learned? There are none. How you doing? I have back problems and my chiropractor told me not to do anything that compresses my spine. So he told me to stop doing acro yoga, stop doing handstands, but I just decided to go on a two week backpacking trip instead. So it's going great. We have to say to your doctor. He saw me carry this bag. Actually, I went to the chiropractor, which is why we were late and almost missed our flight here. He's like, uh, don't forget to sign up for another month of classes. <laughs> Friends. We haven't had those in a long time. <laughs> Nice and tight in here. So this is $22 per person per night. Uh, we're right okay, in the Kosan. I bottom bunk on one of them. Me too. I'm not gonna lie, this will happen to you a lot when you travel. Sometimes things look better on the internet than they are in person. Ah. That's fine. We're just here for a short little stay anyways. Oh God, I'm a ghost right now. And this is a bit of a catfish, but it'll do. Here we are. It is seriously the most nostalgic feeling. I can smell Kosan from here. It is like the famous backpacker street where I came to way more than I'd like to admit. I used to come here like literally three times a week. I was 21, what can you say? And here we go, it's just up ahead. Oh my God, this is how I know I'm back. <laughs> this is a slosh fest. I've seen so many people sitting on the sidewalk that can't get up. I saw a group of girls almost getting in a fight. We're back. I forgot. The music is ridiculous. You hear literally eight restaurants all within like 10 meters of each other. Blasting music. Hey! 
Next up, Silum. Let's go. Kapun Krab. Yep. Kapun Krab. Oh wait, it's Krab. Yeah. How was that, Andrea? It was actually the craziest thing ever. I've never seen anything like it. Great for a nice, like, good fun night with your friends one time. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one Ruby person's been right? there like seven hundred times. Yeah, in his yeah. Lifetime. It's questionable. <laughs> I was twenty-one. Okay. <laughs> it is questionable. So cool, so we're taking the taxi right now to Silom, and that right there, that is the train station. And we will be using that in the next few days. Stop. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you, Rudy. I hope it's not my bill. Fun of the day. Yay! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe, Decker! That was a moment. Thank you guys for sharing that with me.